What is up guys, Alp here and welcome to a brand new series on my channel and a brand new game on my channel. FIFA 15 is here and this is my money no object career challenge. For those of you that didn't see it on my old channel, the aim is to take a team, spend as much money as we can, use the financial takeover all on world class difficulty and try and go unbeaten for two seasons. The reason I say two seasons is because we're going with Man United. Wanted to keep it vaguely realistic by saying that obviously they're not in the Champions League for the first uh, season. So the aim for the first season is, I'll show you the team by the way on the screen, aim for the first season is to go totally unbeaten, we can draw, but I want to go unbeaten, we want to win the league, the cups, and qualify for the Champions League, and then in season two, the aim is to win the league, the cups, and win the Champions League, that is the aim for this series, and in this episode, it is called the shopping list. I'm going to show you who I am looking at, who I intend to spend the money on. We have gone with Manchester United because obviously they have a good lead in for not being in the Champions League in the first season. And I want it to be a series that I could have for into Christmas and maybe a little bit beyond. So obviously two seasons, couple of games, an episode made sense. So here is our team at the moment, guys. And Man United is a very good team at the moment. We've got Falcao for the year. We've got Rooney. We've got uh, Di Maria. We've got the new guy. Guys that have just come in, the likes of Blind and people like that. We've also got some of the old guard. Um, De Gea is a massive keeper. Shaw as well is an awesome player. So here is what I'm looking at at the moment. I'm going through picking players that I am happy to put on the transfer list. Not necessarily getting rid of them, but I'm happy to put them on the transfer list. The likes of Smalling, you know, uh, the likes of Lingard, people like that. And then we will go and have a look at the wish list, guys. The people that we are thinking of buying in. I'm going for a mixture of ones that grow very well and experienced solid players. So a couple of goalkeepers might not necessarily need them, but I do need right backs. And Seamus Coleman is an obvious player that will grow. Players that grow well, that are already established. Looking at your Matt Hummels, your PKs, your Varanes, who has obviously got a lot of growth still to do. We'll work our way down the list, guys. There is some obvious big names are going to be coming up. Your David Alaba's in there. A lot of the players um, that you're seeing, Paul Pogba, massive growth. Vidal, Godong in there, Marco Royce, uh, Goatse, massive growth on Goatse, Isco, Maya looks amazing, Neymar and of course Cristiano Ronaldo. We're enabling the financial takeover, this is money no object career challenge, we want a healthy transfer budget, I think it's about 140 million guys, we inquire about Coleman, they want 16.5 million, um, Verane 16 and a half and Ronaldo is not for sale at any price while well, I want Ronaldo at the club I think Van Persie has served a purpose and it is time to show him the door tentative offers at first guys just 10 million in Van Persie let's see how the ground lies Verane we're going in and you know just seeing it's really a touchy-feely exercise in this uh, bit. We've got the money, guys. As you can see, 117 million sat this. We go four and a half and smalling. Um, I can't pronounce this guy. Marquinhos, is it? Uh, tell me if I'm pronouncing it wrong anyway, guys. I do apologize for butchering this poor man's name. But Anderson and 5.5 million. Coleman, you know, we have to go up a little bit. They weren't prepared to give him for what we were looking for. So we put Ashley Young in there and we drop the price a little bit and see if they will take anything for Ashley Young. We want him out the door, to be perfectly honest with you. Hummels, 68 million for Hummels? Really? I don't think so. I think we'll uh, put Matter in there because I've got plans for a uh, a lot of young, dynamic, forward-thinking players. Um, so 5 million and Matter. We'll stick our toe in the water. Obviously, Ronaldo, they weren't giving him for uh, 10 million, so we up it to 35 million and Van Persie. Hummels rejected, so we're going to up that to 15 million a matter. Hummels is a player I really, really want. Rooney is not for sale. I don't care, you can give me 40 million. He is not leaving the club. Coleman accepts. Brilliant. I need a right back to go with their Raphael. So Coleman accepts. We bang him a contract over. Ronaldo, they reject again. Still playing hardball. We go up to 55 million. 
55 million, but it's worth it. Fellaini, I accept the offer. I want him out the door. I want the runny for the Ronaldo and the rest of the deals. Fellaini, I'm not going to really use. I'm going to use uh, Blind, and I will try and get Paul Pogba later. Verani, we're struggling again, so we go up a little bit. Uh, they didn't want the player, so we're up to 13 and a half. And look at that. Hummels accepts the deal. I think it was the deal with Mata. So we bang a contract over to Hummels. And Coleman is now a Manchester United player. Our right back is in place. The plan is starting to come together. Ronaldo, they won't take 55. I go to 60. That is pretty much as high as I'm prepared to go for Ronaldo. It's pushing the boat out a little bit. I reject all offers for Lingard um, and Varane. They want more. They want more. So we go up to 15 and a half million. And that is the news we wanted to hear, guys. 300 grand a week, it's Cristiano Ronaldo coming back to his spiritual home of Manchester United. I think that's fair. And look at that, we got ourselves Hummels, money no object, we can spend what we like, we just don't get beaten. That is the aim, Varane. So we've got Jones, we've got um, we got Jones, we've got uh, Smalling, etc. And, you know, Ronaldo is now one of our players. So the back end is shaping up nicely. No pun intended. So there's the team at the moment as it sits, guys. Ronaldo is accepted. So we got ourselves Ronaldo, we've got Hummels, we've got Shaw, Coleman, Di Maria's in there. It's just starting to look like a tidy team, especially up front, guys. So Pogba, I think it's time to get some backup for Blinds. So we go in for Paul Pogba. One of the players with the best growth and the highest overall potential. So we're going in for Pogba. This guy has massive future growth, guys. And I know we're only playing two seasons, but it's worth getting him on board. I think he will be a good backup. Varane accepts. Please tell me I'm pronouncing his name right. But we've got Hummels and we've got Varane. So that is decent. Add that to Phil Jones and we've got a decent set of uh, center backs this maya fella is or oh, maya fella is amazing honestly the stats of his growth is so high that we have to give it a go pogba accepts the contract so we're going in at 110 grand a week for pogba and they accept the contract for this guy center mid 73 but so much potential so much potential guys he is definitely getting put in the team squad rotation player which i think is fair pogba accepts his deal and we bring pogba into the fold oh, look paul pogba absolute legend don't want jones getting rid of because i need that center back support de gea hell no de gea has the potential to be the new neuer he's not going anywhere guys look at that he accepts his contract we get him on the books and that brings us pretty much to the end of the episode we put a cheeky bid in for maya and that is the end of the shopping list guys in next episode we play our first match we get stuck in and we see if we can go unbeaten for two seasons splashing the cash take care of yourselves guys if you enjoyed this don't forget to drop a like sub comment and catch you later